In this video, we'll explore the ghost stories surrounding the site where the Sampung department store was and the legends brought over from the neighborhood. Let's first take a look at the Sampung department store collapse incident. On Thursday, June 29, 1995 at 5.52 p.m., a large-scale building collapse accident occurred. Sampung department store in Seoul collapsed, causing approximately 1,500 casualties, 502 dead. The accident occurred just two months after the gas explosion at the Daegu subway construction site, and eight months after the collapse of the Sungzu Bridge. It ranks 11th in terms of fatalities among the world's building collapse disasters. The causes of the collapse were attributed to improper design, poor construction practices, and the excessive operation of the department store. In particular, the excessively heavy cooling towers installed on the roof were identified as the main cause of the catastrophic accident. The location where the Sampung department store once stood remains one of the most representative affluent areas in South Korea, both then and now. Nobody could have predicted that such a massive, brand new department store would tragically collapse in such a manner. Currently, the site of the incident has been developed into the upscale residential complex, Acro Vista. President Yoon Suk Yeol, prior to his election, resided at this location. The memorial monument was erected in Yangjae Dong, some distance away from the site of the incident. In October 1999, a man in his 40s who had lost his wife and son in the Sampung department store collapse could not bear the grief and tragically committed suicide by hanging himself on a tree next to the monument. After the incident, various rumors and urban legends began to circulate. On the 11th day since the collapse of the Sampung department store, on July 10, 1995, a day with unusually frequent thunder and lightning and heavy rain, lightning struck the elevator tower of the department store, and the scene was captured on MBC camera. Some people say that the resentment of unfairly deceased victims was captured in the footage. There have been rumors of strange noises and ghost sightings in the basement of the apartment complex, Acro Vista which was built on the site of the former Sampung department store. Because of these rumors, there were frequent changes in security personnel during the early days, but it seems to have quieted down recently. There is a story of an elderly woman carrying a shopping bag with the logo of the collapsed department store, boarding the subway with a child at a nearby subway station. However, this is not a ghost story but rather a very common occurrence. Thrifty grandmothers often collect shopping bags from department stores and reuse them to carry food or other items for their neighbors or others. The Sampung department store shopping bags were likely used for this purpose by local residents even after the collapse, and there are photos posted by bloggers who obtained Sampung department store shopping bags more than 10 years after the collapse. Several months after the incident, lawyer Eom Sang Ik who worked late into the night in his office on the fourth floor of a building across from the site, reported seeing hundreds of unidentified white light pillars above the ruin through his window, which frightened him. There are also many rumors and stories said to be happened on the day of the collapse. There was a young lady who worked as a cashier at the Sampung department store, and one day she had a dream where her grandfather appeared and told her to quit her job immediately. However, she ignored the dream and went to work as usual on the day of the accident. While she was working, an elderly man came to her counter and took some merchandise without paying, then ran out of the store. The lady chased after him, but as soon as she stepped outside, the department store collapsed. The man disappeared as well. On the day of the incident, a woman was shopping with her young daughter at the department store. However, her daughter kept insisting on going home so they ended up leaving early. When they turned on the TV at home, they learned that the department store they were just at had collapsed. When the woman asked her daughter why she wanted to go home, the daughter said that she saw strange beings in black costumes on the backs of people at the department store. In addition to the stories introduced in the video, there are many more rumors and legends related to the collapse of the Sampung department store. However, most of them lack scientific evidence or proof and are likely to be a testament to people's fear and anger over the shocking incident at the time. In any case, 
We would like to take this opportunity to express our condolences to the victims. I hope that tragedies like this will never happen again, and I wish everyone a safe and happy life. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like as well.